that I wrote, so it's called In Dog We Trust. <laughs> if we proclaim dog shit money, kennels would become banks. Milk bones, investments, shoe bottoms, checkbooks, lawns, mints. We'd all become hounds or bitches, sniffing rear ends for a withdrawal, making deposits instead, with no interest, doggy style economy. Litters of young stockbrokers, house broke. If dog shit was money, a dollar's worth would still be worth a dollar, but we'd never have to worry about where we stepped. <laughs> Uh, as she said, yeah, I, I grew up in Wyoming, so this one is, uh, I, I've worked on on and off for a while, so uh, it's called Peer Pressure, and it's kind of dedicated to my friends in Wyoming. At high school, I always hung with the same group. My best friend, a football player, short temper, nicknamed the bomb, two military brats, and a Hungarian guy, the butt of all our Polak jokes. We called him Rek Walesa after his last car crash. <laughs> we did stupid shit. Play war, make believe, talk about girls we could date, find reasons not to, fantasize over those who would never give us the time. One summer night, we decided to throw M80 firecrackers in the public swimming pool. Sure, we'd never get caught. It was Wyoming. There was never anyone around. Insert mental image of tumbleweeds here. Rec drove. He was the only one with a car. I sat back middle, bitch, felt safe. Car stopped, bomb step out, stepped out, threw, jumped back in. We sped away. Moments of silence evolved, wonderful explosion, liquid mushroom cloud, egged Rec to drive faster. The head lifeguard happened to be ice blocking above on Snob Hill. A chase scene out of a movie ensued. The lifeguard on his motorcycle beside our car, surprisingly fast and agile, raced down a dirt road. We cheered. He screamed, pull over. Scared, we proposed a vote. Car caucus. Run him off the road or obey. <laughs> As I scooped out the first net of soggy paper, I recalled we had voted unanimously to run him off the road. <laughs> Politics for you, right? <laughs> this one is, if it could be paradise, but let me tell you why it's not. Here, moss sings symphonies. Elephants trample dandelions unscathed. Teeth bite into rocks, taste the noise of a future that happened yesterday. Simple theory of relativity. If grandma had testicles, she would be grandpa. Thank my nephew for that enlightenment. Under a dead dog, a child sleeps cuddled next to a flea, away from a place where everything is made from scratch. I have an itch, it will all be okay. Nothing makes sense in a world that swirls in the head of a sperm cell before it wakes for breakfast, eggs. Everyone loves bacon, not a new conception. Does anything make sense when you listen close, eyes wide open, shrug your shoulders, say you don't know? It's okay to feel unsafe, gun in your hand, pointed at your head. Such is life, strange, wonderful existence that we try to control. I try to drift uh, away from being so fatalistic, but it's, you know, <laughs> I try to be more, uh, more hopeful. You know, that's more Berkeley, is to be more hopeful. So fatalistic is more LA, more Hollywood. You know, it's bigger when it's like Armageddon. So. Where's some dirt? Yeah. <laughs> what happens after the end of the world? The wait for the next civilization to appear from gray dust, dunes of everything incinerated snow drifts of what ifs, what was, what might soon be, life, all that follows perpetual night, 
earth, marble flicked by the hand of God, spinning forever into the space between where it is now and the expanding border. Hungry universe afraid to stop, eats up all the nothing and everything in its path. Gorgeous gorging sated on space dust, lunar rocks, planet rings, Masses tagged with numbers, places without names, black holes the size of the unknown, empty space in our head where thoughts don't evolve. It's peace magnified, tranquility times quiet, envelops the once busy ball, spinning spear, running round in oblong circles, too stubborn to move, path of destiny, one-way course, crash with fate. Too bad no one will be left to see the beauty, non-existence. The view from above, oceans of burnt dirt, circle, pile, shake, reset, large etch-a-sketch, might be the rebirth of what is meant to be. A story of God's destruction, who will be saved? The answer is no one lives forever, here or anywhere else. The time without. In the land without numbers, borders, wars, starvation, skies, icebergs, three-legged dogs, babies with two hearts, glutton, questions, no's, yeses, sound, movement, death lingers, pollution haze, hanging, peaceful, patient, in wait, it would be excruciating to live forever because of the pain caused by love. Blessings are counted using drops of water, molecules of air, freckles, excited hairs on legs of stalking spiders, pounding speakers in cricket wings, surface area of smooth skin under the eyebrow, concepts that make sense to those who stop long enough to pay attention. It takes all the living people and dead to calculate unsolvable equations comprised of toes plus fingers to come up with the sum of what makes anything worth. Even the woman with one arm, the man without legs, help tally gratitude, reasons to live, grab handfuls of imaginary mass, place it into a basket of those things which don't exist, at least not yet. Funny, no one is sad, hateful, even less are the persons who try to take someone else's non-existent wealth. An eye for a foot is an even trade, except in war or jealousy, and unless you only have one eye or no leg to stand on. What is sight anyway? A distortion of perception, an exception, exactly what we aren't looking at, what we really think we see. In the time without, in a place that has not yet been created, except in the greasy gray ravines between spongy rolling hills of matter under the slick skull cap, skin cap, there is never a moment when something worth living for does not exist. Thank you. Thank you.